So welcome folks on YouTube. I want to give an introduction to cycle notation for permutations. So imagine I have the, um, I'm looking in S4, the symmetric group, symmetric group on four elements. And I have a permutation that swaps one and two and it swaps three and four. This permutation has a particular name, which I've drawn right here, one, two, three, four. Whereas the permutation two, three, corresponds to this permutation. Okay. Um, so, cool. Let me explain how to multiply permutations. Um, is that where I wanna start? Well, may maybe I'll start by saying where these names come from, okay. So we've listed here all of the 24 permutations in the symmetric group on four elements. When you write something down as a cycle, it's saying that one is going to two, and then it's in a cycle. So it's also saying that two is going back to one, okay? Now I haven't written three or four in this notation, and that just means that three and four are fixed. Let's jump down here to, um, to this four cycle. Down here in this four cycle, this notation is saying that one goes to two, two goes to four, four goes to three, and then three goes back to one. And you can follow the arrows to see that that's the case. One is going to two, two is going to four, four is going to three, and three is going back to one. Well, let's do the next four cycle. In cycle notation, this is saying one is going to three, three then goes to two, two goes to four, and four goes back to one. And we can match that up with one goes to three, whoops, one goes to three, which goes to two, which goes to four, which goes to one. Similarly for three cycles, so let's pick this three cycle one, four, two. This is saying that one goes to four, four goes to two, and two goes back to one. And you can see that one goes to four, four goes to two, two goes back to one. Three is not mentioned in the name, which means three goes back to itself. And not every permutation is a single cycle. So look here, this is saying that one goes to two, which goes back to one, which we have. And it's saying that three goes to four, which goes back to three, which we have. It doesn't matter the order in which you write this. So this is the same as three, four, one, two, because the cycles have no elements in common, okay? It turns out that disjoint cycles, cycles that have no shared numbers between them commute, but more general cycles that might have elements in common don't commute. This cycle that we started with one, two, you could write it as two, one, okay? Because this is saying the same thing. It's saying that two goes to one, which then goes back to two, right? Two goes to one, which then goes back to two. So these are two different names for the same cycle, but people usually write the, sh the smallest element first. Okay, so when you have a cycle, you put the smallest element in that cycle first, which is what I've done here. You know, the cycle one, two, three, four, you could write this as three, four, one, two, because both of these say that three goes to four which then goes to one, which then goes to two, which then goes back to three, okay? Both of those say that, um, you know, three goes to four, which goes to one, which goes to two, which goes to three. And we usually write it as one, two, three, four, because one is the smallest element in that cycle instead of three, four, one, two. But you could write it either way and you'd still be correct. 
Any public questions so far? All right, I wanna show you how to multiply things in cycle notation. Okay, so here are two permutations. The first permutation swaps one with two and it swaps three with four. And then the other one swaps only two and three. And we're gonna multiply them. We're gonna do one, two, three, four first. And then afterwards, we're gonna do two, three. Okay. So you always start in cycle of notation by writing down where one goes. So we're always gonna start by figuring out where one goes. What you do is you, you think of plugging in one Okay, so so first what we'll do is we'll plug in one. You know, think of plugging in one here, right? So we're gonna um, think of plugging in one to this box. We're asking how this, um, this permutation acts on the number one, okay? Swapping three and four doesn't change one at all, but swapping one and two maps one to two. So it's like we, we plugged in one, three, four didn't change it, but once I got to this two cycle, one got mapped to two. And then once I got to this two cycle, one gets mapped to three. So what I've shown you so far is that in total, this permutation sends one to three because you plug in one, three, four doesn't do anything to it. One, two sends one to two, and then two, three sends two to three. So in total, one has been mapped to three. We'll keep going, but let me, let me start drawing this picture. You know, how I've drawn this for you already is is first we want to do this transposition one, two, three, four. So I can take that. And then next I want to do this transposition two, three. So I can do that. And then if I wanted to strain out all the um, lines, well, in total, one goes to two, which goes to three. So one goes to three and two goes to one, which stays at one. So two goes to one and three goes to four, which stays at four. Three goes to four and four goes to three, which goes to two. So four goes to two. Okay. So but you are correct that one is going to three in the final composition, one is going to three. And in cycle notation, that's exactly what writing this tells me. It's saying one is getting mapped to three. That's why I wrote three next. It tells me where one is going. So now in cycle notation, the number that goes next here is gonna be where three gets mapped. So next I'm gonna plug in three, right? So my next step is to plug in three. Where does three get mapped? So it's like I'm, I'm plugging three into this box and seeing where it gets moved. This first transposition sends three to four. So three gets sent to four right at the very start. And then this doesn't change four, this doesn't change four. All right, so three gets sent to four. Next, we're gonna plug in four. Let's see where four gets mapped. So think of plugging in four here. This first transposition swaps four and three. So four gets mapped to three. 
this next transposition doesn't affect three, and this next transposition sends three to two. All right. So in total, four got mapped to two. At this point, I already know that two is going to have to get sent back to one, but let's just double check our work. Let's plug in two and see where two goes. So we plug in two. This first two cycle, three, four doesn't change two. This next transposition sends two to one. And then this next transposition doesn't move one at all. So two go, does get mapped to one. Don't just write a one here. You already have a one that's appeared. Let's leverage the fact that this is cycle notation. I can just close. Oops. Where does two get mapped? I want to say two gets mapped to one. I can just close the parentheses because in cycle notation, this means that one gets mapped to three, three gets mapped to four, four gets mapped to two, and two gets mapped to one. All right. So, you know, this is sort of our final answer. Um, This four cycle, one, three, four, two, is the composition of these elements. And I did so algebraically. I sort of wrote down every step here, but you're going to get fast at doing this without writing down every step. You know, when you practice composing these elements, you'll just be able to write down the answer without writing anything else. Our answer does agree with the composition that we saw before, stacking these permutations on top of each other, you know, where you see that one goes to three, and then three goes to four, and then four goes to two and then two goes to one, right? So you can see how one goes to three, which goes to four, which goes to two, which goes back to one. Let me talk through, you know, how you do this problem without writing anything down. Once you get good, your answer is not gonna need to show any work, okay? You always start with the element one and see where it gets mapped. So where does one go? Three, four doesn't move one. Now one gets mapped to two, which gets mapped to three. So in total, one mapped to three. Then I see where three goes. Three goes to four, which doesn't get moved, which doesn't get moved. So three goes map, gets mapped to four. Where does four get mapped? Four gets mapped to three, which stays put, which then goes to two. Excuse me, so four goes to two. And then finally, where does two go? Two doesn't move but then two goes to one, which stays put. To show that two gets mapped to one, I just close off the cycle because you know this implies that two is going back to one. All right, so that's a quick introduction to how to multiply elements in cycle notation. You don't want to have to stack permutations on top of each other anymore in order to multiply them. You wanna use their, um, you know, their true name, which is in cycle notation, and learn how to multiply there. Questions? Thanks so much.